Shirataki noodles. What exactly are these white, slick, slippery noodles you can find in all Asian grocery stores that some people get an upset stomach from? Why do they smell like hell? And why do I still think that they can be great when you want to lose weight? See, shirataki, or also known as miracle or cognac noodles, are made out of 97% water and 3% cognac flour. This flour is made out of the edible corm of a plant called cognac yam, also known as devil's tongue or elephant yam. Now, this flour contains mainly a water-soluble dietary fiber called glucomannan, and this brings me to the first major point of these noodles, the stomach pain. See, one serving of 200 grams of shirataki noodles has only 20 calories but also 6 grams of this soluble fiber, and this can be the reason why some people get stomach pain, especially if you're not used to that much fiber and overeat on multiple servings of these noodles. Next, let's talk about the water they are stored in. See, to make shirataki noodles, you need something that binds water in cognac flour so it forms a noodle. For that, companies use something called calcium hydroxide, also known as pickling water. This also is used in making corn tortillas or pickling cucumber. And that is what stinks in combination with the cognac flour. It smells like fish, even though there is no fish at all in these noodles, it's from the calcium hydroxide. However, I found brands that don't use this calcium hydroxide, at least it's not on the ingredient list, such as in this Miata brand, and in fact it doesn't smell at all. It doesn't even taste like anything. So if you want to be safe, just make sure to either buy the same brand or buy a brand that doesn't have this ingredient on the list. Regardless, I will still rinse this with water in the sink for about 30 seconds until the entire liquid is gone. Now, if you have still shirataki that smells, you can now either add lemon or a bit of vinegar on top of them. After a couple of minutes, the smell completely go away. So as far as cooking them, I will dry roast them in a non-stick pan and also cook them in water like regular pasta and tell you which one is a better option. I will let them boil in a stove for 10 minutes, this should make them a bit softer. For the pan version, I will dry roast them for around 3-4 to four minutes on medium heat and I will wait until the entire liquid is evaporated, they will become a bit crispy like this. So let's taste this. The dry roasted one tastes like absolutely nothing, but have a slight crisp as expected. The noodles cooked in water are a bit softer, but also taste like absolutely nothing. Now, texture wise, this is not the same as regular pasta or wheat noodles like udon. It's not comparable and also they don't taste as good, how could they? They only have 20 calories. But, and that's why I think they are so amazing, if you make them with especially Asian style sauces, they are capable to soak up all of the flavors of that sauce, so you are still getting the savory taste without having to use noodles. My two favorite ingredients for this sauce are, on the left, gochujang, this is a chili paste with fermented soy, and on the right side my new favorite, and you can expect a lot more videos with this in the future, it's a Korean black bean paste that is super thick and insanely flavorful. So, what I like doing is to add 25 gram black bean paste into a glass, I will add 10 grams of gochujang, then I will add 10 to 15 grams of rice vinegar, 2 grams of sesame oil, a pinch of salt, and also 15 grams of water to thin everything out. Mix this until it becomes a very dark, thick sauce and it's ready. So now we roast my shirotake in a pan on medium heat, add the sauce and mix it. And you will see that the noodles soak up the entire sauce completely and become super slick. So you have an insanely tasty dish that is super low in calories, that you can also make with chicken or veggies to make it even better. This is why I love these shirataki noodles so much. I made a playlist with different kinds of sauces where you can go and check out and hopefully I will see you there.